twisted murderer Gregory Scott Hale was obsessed with a serial killer called the Night Stalker. This twisted cannibal idolized a serial killer and was obsessed with satanic worship before he butchered a stranger after having sex with her. Gregory Scott Hale, 37, also posted sickening rants before he brutally murdered the Hyder three years ago in Tennessee, USA. Crime author Ian Becker, who has studied the barbaric killing, said that Hale had become fascinated with the night stalker Richard Ramirez before he targeted Mrs. Hyder, Mirror Online reports. Ramirez went on a murderous spree in California in 1989 and was convicted of 13 murders, 5 attempted murders and 11 sexual assaults. Hale adored Ramirez, obsessively reading his manifesto and posted on Facebook when a killer died in 2014, RIP Night Stalker, wish I could have met you. A warped love of Satanism, weapons, venomous snakes and cannibalism was evidently in his blogs and pictures on Facebook. Disturbing comments from him included, I hug the people I hate so I know how big to dig their hole in my backyard. If someone were to become a cannibal and eat a vegetarian, would the vegetarian taste like that fake soy meat? After being fired from a meat processing plant for taking home blood, bones and eyes of slaughtered animals, Hale was forced to move back with his parents. His sick fantasies led to murder on June 8, 2014 in Manchester, Tennessee. Hale picked up a befriended Mrs. Hyder, 37, outside the liquor store where she worked. Mrs. Hyder who had ovarian cancer and was a mother of six, was separated from her husband. But she was still close to her ex and called him asking for a lift on June 8. Tragically she accepted the lift from Hale instead before her former partner who is some distance away arrived. Becker says that the pair went back to Hale's home where they got drunk and had sex. When Hyder fell asleep, Hale launched a horrific machete attack. He repeatedly stabbed Mrs. Hyder covering the bed and walls in her blood. The sickle and disembodied and decapitated her body, said Becker. Filled with a great sense of pleasure, he took pictures and began eating body parts. Then he asked his neighbor if he could borrow their digger to bury a body. Cops swooped and discovered the gruesome scene. A few weeks later Hale pleaded guilty to first-degree murder. There were fears Hale could have become a serial killer. One psychiatrist said Hale was in the beginning stages of learning to kill. If he not been caught. They were certain he would have killed more people. True Crime Stories Volume 1, 12 Terrifying True Crime Murder Cases by Ryan Becker is out now.